Good Sunday morning, everyone. This is KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts. Continuing on little sneak peeks here of what we have at HamFest before the show opens. And we're at the Expert Electronics table here at the Gigaparts booth. Hey, Steve. Hey. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So I, guys, listen, what you don't know is I have at the house to let me borrow the SDR, Sun SDR2 DX and the Sun SDR2 Pro. And it really, you know, there's, there's a little bit to learn about it and a lot you can do with it. So I haven't got finished with the videos yet, okay? Um, what I want to tell you as a quick blurb here, because you're going to see these soon, but what I want to show you is this is the first and only in the United States, North America, the MB1 Prime 2021. This is the new one from Expert Electronics. And this is, guys, there's a lot of people that are walking over here and they're, oh, oh, that's too expensive. They don't know what it is. I still don't know what it is. It is a standalone direct sampling transceiver with built on a Windows 10 platform. Windows 10 is built into this thing. So if you look at something like a traditional SDR, like a Sun SDR2 here, or like an Apache Labs or an ELAD, well, ELAD you could use standalone. Something like this, you would need a computer to use, the radio, okay? You would connect it to the computer. You would get a display like this. Um, this is the Sun SDR2 uh, DX. And, you know, there's a lot you can do on this and use it like a radio, but the computer is processing all the digital uh, data to make it what appears to be the best sounding transceiver you've ever had. Now, the MB1 is that and then some it will actually run with the computer inside the radio, okay? Let's look at the data sheet, 100 watts on HF, 80 watts on six meters, 50 watts on two meters. Now, that is all mode, that is, you know, all the HF bands, and that is true SDR, your true 100 watts output or your 80 watts output, whatever it is. This is uh, transmit IMD third order is uh, about 37 dB across all bands. Windows 10, and that can be upgraded in the future. Intel Core i7 9700, four, uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a Samsung 970 Evo 500 gig SSD drive, solid state tuner. It does a solid state drive. It does have an internal antenna tuner on it. Um, a lot of the specs that are way above my head, someone like Rob Sherwood would be able to tell you, or testing it, what the actual specs are. But, uh, you know, this is the only one. First off, yeah, we touched the only one here in North America. I was playing with it for a little bit, and I'm going to have this at my house one day, and I'm going to play with it even more, all right? Um, the price tag is a little bit. I mean, it's, it's pricey. But full touchscreen, 7-inch touchscreen display, okay? It, um, it has lots and lots of filtering. It has lots and lots of, uh, you know, you could probably do, I think you could do FT8 right inside the radio with, you know, ham radio or a digital master or something running right in the radio communicating with the SDR that's in the box, okay? So having Windows 10 and, and some, now I did this video a couple years ago for them. I saw them at Dayton and uh, it was just new. And down 20 meters. And a lot of people looked at it and said, if that had Linux on it, I would buy it. Now it doesn't have Linux. Would they make a Linux? Maybe. but. That's the biggest thing that people say is if it had Linux on it, I'd buy it. But we're looking at something that is far beyond, far beyond the regular radio, guys. And I want to show you something else. So the e-coder, this has the ability to use to be used remotely on the Sun SDR2 or the MB1. Okay, something like this, you can operate remotely. Plug your CW key in the back your PTT, you know, your, talk to the microphone, the computer, wherever you are, adjust the VFO, programmable buttons, and you would be able to operate this thing remotely, just like a lot of other radios do, natively in the radio, and operate CW remotely, and micro, you know, uh, 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 everything remotely. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Let me show you the back of this real quick, a lot of connections on the back. So aside from the two USB on the front, you have six antenna connectors on the back. That's four SO239s, HF1, 2, 3, and 4, Two end connectors for VHF one and two. You could do a lot of mixing on this. You could do receive on HF one, transmit on HF two. You could have a receive only antenna, you know, transmit on a vertical, transmit on a horizontal. Mix and match. Receive on a loop, transmit on a Yagi. A lot of good stuff. 
You have um, USB 2.0 ports, two of them on the front, on the back here. USB 3.0 on the back. Two LAN ports. Uh, one you're going to connect, you know, to your to your network, you know, and whatever the other one's for, I'm not sure. Three or four fans there to keep that thing ice cold. A lot of connections on the bottom. You have your HDMI port, your uh, your digital or your D port, which is like a Dell version of uh, HDMI for their big monitors. Receive in, receive out, transverter for those who want to use a transverter. DAC out, reference in, a GPS, PTT, a key, uh, uh, um, external control, a lot of different stuff on this radio. And a lot of different things that we're going to find out can be done when I get this thing in my hands one day and make pileups and figure out what I can do with it. So MB1 here, a lot, a lot of stuff to do here. There's the data sheet in the back. New expert remote system allows you to work in receive and transmit modes. Four separate programmable PTT outputs for external power amplifiers. So you could run, <laughs> you could run uh, PAs on two meters, uh, 20 meters, a VHF, um, you know, HF amplifier or two different HF amplifiers. You could run it all. And PC with Windows 10 operating system allows you to install any software you'd install on your laptop. So if you want to install, you know, uh, FL Digi or JS8 Call or whatever, WSJTX, you can do that. Pretty neat stuff, man. Pretty neat stuff. So we're going to check out this MB1 soon. And first, you're going to see these two here that I have in my possession right now. The Sun SDR2 Pro, the Sun SDR2DX at my house. Um, they did not let me get the e-coder, but you get the idea. You can move stuff here. So, so the SDR2... Awesome. Expert Electronics, they're paving the way, man. Got to check this stuff out. And you see new stuff like this at Giga Parts at Hamfest, Huntsville, Alabama. And 7-3, uh, everyone. This is KJ4YZI.